Of all the leaf teas in Japan, the Gyokuro tea price is likely the highest. This has to do with a variety of different factors, ranging anywhere from the cultivation of the tea plant to the selection of the leaves and the processing of the tea itself. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into Gyokuro and find out what exactly makes this green tea so expensive. Before we get started, it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to see more like it in the future. If you'd prefer to read about Gyokuro tea, we have a great blog article on our website neoteas.com. We'll put the link in the description below. Without further ado, let's get started. The factors that influence the Gyokuro tea price. There are a few different factors that influence the Gyokuro tea price. In this segment, we're going to discuss five reasons why the Gyokuro tea price is so high and why it's actually worth it for this carefully produced and selected tea. Extra labor is required to shade the plants. First, let's start out with the shading process. Gyokuro and matcha are the two longest shaded green teas in Japan. Certain sencha are shaded for around 7 days, kabuse sencha is shaded for 10 days or more, and gyokuro and matcha green tea powder are shaded for 21 days or more. The shading process reduces the bitterness of the tea and increases its sweetness. When the tea plant is exposed to sunlight, it produces more catechins to protect itself from the UV rays, which creates a more bitter flavor. If the tea plant is shaded, it produces less catechins and retains more of its theanine. The theanine is responsible for the sweet and savory flavors of green teas. While the sweet and savory flavor is well sought after, it takes a lot of work to produce. For this gyokuro, Mr. Sakamoto needs to set up a scaffolding to put the nets on top of. The nets will then be rolled on top of the scaffolding so that the plant can be cut off from sunlight, but there is still enough space underneath for people to come in and harvest the leaves. The plant has to survive for three weeks without sunlight. Setting up the netting is just one part of the challenge. Another factor that influences the gyokuro tea price is what comes next. After the scaffolding has been set up, the tea plant now needs to be kept alive for three weeks without sunlight. This is a stressful time for the tea plant, and it needs to be strengthened in order to maintain its health for a long period of time. While most farmers would use chemical fertilizers to do this, organic farmers like Mr. Sakamoto like to do things the more natural way. He uses nutrients from the surrounding area combined with compost to create an organic fertilizer that strengthens the cellular structure of the tea plants. He says that he can even tell organic leaves from non-organic leaves by holding them up to the light. The organic leaves have less of a dense cellular structure, so they appear to be more see-through. Next, we have the careful leaf selection. After the three-week shading process is complete, the tea is ready to be harvested. This is where the third factor comes in, and that is leaf selection. Cheaper teas are made from the older leaves, lower down on the stem of the tea plant. To make premium sencha, matcha, and gyokuro, the top leaves of the tea plant need to be used. The top sprouts are the youngest, most nutrient-dense, and sweetest in flavor. This careful leaf selection means that the farmer is able to produce less gyokuro on the same acre of land compared to a cheaper tea like bancha. So the gyokuro tea price becomes even higher. It also adds a lot of additional work during the production process, as the leaves have to be more carefully harvested and sorted. After the leaves have been harvested, they are steamed, partially dried, and rolled. This rolling process is common along all tea types, but it's even more precise when it comes to gyokuro. Gyokuro has these unique, tightly rolled needle shapes that lock in the flavor so they can be released all at once into the water in a strong infusion. This careful rolling needs to be done by a very specific type of machine. This of course adds a lot of extra costs and extra steps to the production of gyokuro, which raises the gyokuro tea price. After the leaves have been rolled with a specialized rolling machine, they are ready to be dried one final time. This is when the gyokuro leaves take on their final shape and achieve a moisture content of between 4 and 7%. This ensures that the gyokuro leaves keep their flavor locked inside the leaf until they are infused into water. In other words, these tight needle-shaped leaves aren't just for looks. They actually serve an important purpose when it comes to the enjoyment of the tea. Finally, we have the high demand and the small number of suppliers. The final reason for the high gyokuro tea price comes not from the production, but from the customer. Gyokuro has become famous for this super concentrated, sweet umami flavor that is rare in the world of tea. As a result, producers work meticulously to perfect the ideal gyokuro flavor. There are even competitions around this, where gyokuro teas are compared to one another to see which one has the best flavor. Once once these flavors have been perfected, people are willing to pay a higher gyokuro tea price for these incredible teas. Even if the cost is a few dollars per gram, it's worth it for the occasional indulgence. Gyokuro is a tea for special occasions, so the gyokuro tea price doesn't necessarily need to accommodate daily drinking. When drinking gyokuro, you're meant to brew a small quantity of super concentrated tea and really take your time as you sip it. While paying a dollar or two per cup may be expensive for an everyday tea, gyokuro drinkers don't mind paying a higher gyokuro tea price for a special tea they can share with friends or family as a celebration. Where can you shop for gyokuro? If you're looking to try some gyokuro, you can browse our selection of gyokuro on our official website, neoteas.com. After traveling around Japan for years and meeting with dozens of farmers, we've decided to get our gyokuro exclusively from Mr. Sakamoto. Mr. Sakamoto has been working in the tea industry his entire life, and he has been growing tea without the use of pesticides since 1985. The gyokuro tea he 
produces is the most flavorful we have ever tried, and it's a great privilege to work with him. If you try out a few of the Gyokuro teas from Mr. Sakamoto, I think you will find that the Gyokuro tea price is definitely worth it. It is no surprise that the Gyokuro tea price is so high given the rich flavor and painstaking detail involved in the production. Compared to other luxurious drinks like champagne, the Gyokuro tea price is actually quite reasonable. At the highest level, a cup of Gyokuro may only cost a few dollars, which is very reasonable for a celebration among friends. So raise your glasses and let's toast this incredible drink called Gyokuro. Before we go, it would really mean a lot to us if you could subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for future tea videos. If you have any questions about Gyokuro tea or tea in general, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you next time.